Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Lisa Richardson, and today we're coming to you from inside the studios here at WHHI. Joining us today on our program is our first guest, Mary Briggs. She is the director and CEO of the Hilton Head Island Symphony Orchestra. Our next guest is Ms. Emily Johnson. She's with Polaris Capital Advisors. And our third guest is Mr. James Wedgworth with Charter One Realty. So stick around and stay right here for another episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak, where Spring Island comes to speak, where Hilton Head Island comes to speak, where Beaufort comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV, right here in the studio. Our first guest today is Miss Mary Briggs with the Hilton Head Symphony Orchestra. Mary, it's always a pleasure to see you. You always look wonderful in your nice spring colors today. Thank you. Uh, spring, almost summer, actually. It feels like summer. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Today is definitely going to do that. Mary, you always have some fun and awesome events happening with the Symphony Orchestra. I understand you just finished one. It's just in May here. We did. Tell us about that. It was our season finale. We featured Beethoven 7, uh, kind of an iconic. If you watched uh, the King's speech, that when he's giving his speech at the end of the movie, that that particular piece is featured. So, And we had a pianist, so it was a really fun concert. So that was our finale for this season. So we are now done. But right away, the very next day, we started talking about the next season and putting kind of finishing touches on that. Well, tell me what's the focus of the new season and when does it become, Mary? When well, it, start, it Mary? is it titled American Mosaic. Um, and so it features, and every concert we feature at least an American composer piece. You know, for instance, we've got a whole concert around Copeland and Bernstein. Next year, 2018 is Leonard Bernstein's 100th birthday celebration of that. So orchestras all over the country are going to be doing Leonard Bernstein. We're going to be doing Porgy and Bess. Um, so every every concert will be featuring something that's American composer uh, on that concert, along with a lot of other standard things. So now you always have these really neat themes. You had the flower power recently and some a number of others. How do you come up with these? What process do you take to come up with what theme to choose? Well, the whole season, and especially those very special concerts, is kind of a collaboration between John Morris Russell, our music director, uh, myself, and then our VP for operations, Mario Incorvaya. We sit around a table, and we I'm kind of the budget guru mm -hmm. on that, because that's, I'm in charge of that. And also, I've been here the longest, so I know the tenor of our audience and what they like a lot. No pun intended. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, we bounce ideas back and forth. We look back to previous seasons. We don't want to do something we've done recently, and we want to balance throughout the season. So we look at our regular concerts across the main season, and then we also program for those very special concerts, the Symphony Under the Stars. And as you know, last time I was talking about Flower Power. Right. And um, that was wildly successful the one night we had it, but then we had horrendous weather the second night and had to cancel, which was mm -hmm. very disappointing. So we have um, added a new concert this year. We're going to do Fla we're going to do Symphony Under the Stars in the fall out at Palmetto Bluff. Oh wow! And oh. that is so popular; it is mm -hmm. almost sold out already. Wow! Uh, people are just getting their tables, and they're so excited about being at Palmetto Bluff. The theme is going to be symphonic soul, so it's going to be Motown and soul. We um, are engaging D's guys to work with us on that. And it's going to be a lot of the 70s music. Um, so people are already starting to think. At this concert, people get dressed up in the theme. They decorate their tables in the theme. It's just a huge lot of so fun. So 70s is disco, right? Yes, yeah, some disco. Mm -hmm. Is, that, that, is, that, is, there, is there dancing? I, I think this? that is closer to James 80s, James is already maybe. thinking of what he's going to wear. Yeah, 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 I was actually thinking of that. We sometimes don't have enough room for dancing, although at Flower Power, we had quite a few people up dancing. I mean, they just couldn't resist. 
Uh, so then next spring, we'll still return and do Symphony of the Stars on Hilton Head, and we're going to do all that jazz. Mm -hmm. So we'll still have, we'll have both of those. Um, the fall one is new, but based on how popular it is already, we'll probably continue that. So mm -hmm. we'll do one in Bluffton and one on Hilton Head. And your existing venue is still at the Presbyterian, Presbyterian Church. Presbyterian yes. Church. Okay. So we're also adding a 10th concert to our regular series. We've been doing nine that we double on Sunday and Monday. We're adding a 10th concert this year, a standalone gala at the beginning of the year with Emmanuel Axe as our star. And he is a phenom. I mean, he's one of the biggest pianists in the world. Wow. Um, mm. So we were very fortunate to be able to engage him. That's a one night only performance. Now you can, you can get an annual membership, correct? Or, or a seasonal can. membership, so then you'd have tickets to all of these events that you're you discussing? Can. Or they you can get them in three ways. You can get one that'll get you to all the concerts, all nine or plus the tenth. Or you can get just six. You can take your pick of six or you can take your pick of three, because some of our snowbirds come mm -hmm. down and they're only here mm -hmm. for a short period of time. And each of those is discounted. The biggest discount is if you get all nine and then you're guaranteed your seats for all nine concerts, which is really the best way to go. Including the Under the Stars, or that's a no, separate, that's a whole separate, separate deal? Thing. Okay, yeah. interesting. Now there's another big change coming for the season, and you're always full of changes and surprises, so would you share with us? Well, that that's, we are, our matinees are going to five o'clock instead of four o'clock, and some of that is the church has requested that we do that. It's a little bit later, so at this time of year, it's kind of nice, because it means you can enjoy that afternoon sun mm -hmm. a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, the church, you know, the church is a church primarily, and so they need to be able to have their Sunday service before we plow in there and start setting up for a concert, so that's one of the changes. Uh, and then the adding of the 10th concert was the other change. Um, so we're, we are really excited about that. And that concert includes a gala afterwards. So you pay for the concert, but you also get invited to a big gala afterwards uh, at one of the hotels. We're still working on which one. Okay. Well, Mary, you always have some good things going on. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And you. always a pleasure to have you all join us and stay right here. We'll be back with more 843 TV.